Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Maycock and I am an illustrator which means that I get to draw pictures every day for my job and then they get used for things like books. Now I heard recently that Mrs Best White sent you all a copy of my book Sometimes I Feel, it goes a nice gold on the front. And so I thought I would make you a little video just telling you a bit more about it so you've got special extra information that no one else has. So this book started as a project at university. So I studied illustration for three years and we had to do a big project at the end of our three years, like a big final exam. And I wanted to make a book. And I was thinking, you know, what, what do people make books about? And I thought back to some of my favourite books. And lots of them were about animals from when I was a child. So I thought, right, that's great. I love drawing animals. There's all sorts of different animals I can draw. So I thought, hmm, now what? So then I thought, you know what? There's a lot of sayings about animals, like as big as a bear. And then I thought, hang on, that's a bit silly because... There are thing, lots and lots of animals that are bigger than a bear, so, so maybe there are other examples where perhaps a, a, a saying or a simile, which I think maybe you might have been learning about, um, they're not completely true or maybe there's more subtlety to it or different sides of the story. So I went through and I thought of different things and I made this book. Now my favourite spread, I think, is the very very last spread so it's about a mouse and it says sometimes I feel as timid as a mouse you know we can all be very nervous about things that's that's natural but if I stand tall I can find my inner courage and come to feel as big as a bear and I think at the moment this is very important because maybe there are lots of things that are worrying us um, and if we can find the courage to talk about them to someone, maybe they'll make us feel much happier and stronger and more confident. So it's definitely worth finding that strength that that little mouse has to scare the person standing on the chair. I don't know if you've noticed that, but the feet up here. Now, I'm not actually scared of mice, but I know some people are. Um, so I can't wait to hear what you think of my book. I would love to know, do you think there are any animals that I've missed out? Um, have you maybe thought of some of your own similes? I would love to hear them. So thank you so much and I really hope you've enjoyed my book. Bye.